What's well, good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to let you guys know that I am finally selling these Christmas t-shirts. Well, they did start releasing on Christmas. And as you guys can see, it is a long sleeve. It does have three sneakers on the side. It is an Easy 250 Boost, Ultra Boost, and then a Jordan 1. Pre-order started on Christmas, and it does end on New Year's, so make sure you get them before it ends. You can find the link to where to purchase the shirt down below. Moving on to the next announcement. Moving on to the next announcement, I am also still raffling off these Jordan 1s. It is a Jordan 1 Top 3. It is a size 7.5. Tickets are a dollar each. And there's a total of 300 entries. Right now, there's about 65 entries now. You can also find a link where to enter down below. Anyways, moving on with today's video. It might be the last video of the bot series, depending on if you guys have any more questions or want to know anything else about sneaker bots. But today's topic, as you guys may already know, has to do with the billing, the shipping, and the credit card information. So to start off, you guys have been asking me, how do you have so many credit cards and how do you have all these addresses to take, send them to and stuff? Well, the trick is when you actually put in an address, you could change it up a little bit and they won't count it as two orders going to the same place. So basically what you have to do is, let's say your address has street in it. So you can type street in three ways. You can type it as the whole word street out. You can type it as ST period. You can type it as ST without a period. You can type it as STR. They're all going to understand that as street. For another example would be avenue. You can type in the whole word avenue or you can type in the word AVE and they will take those two forms. This tip was recommended to me by AIO themselves. So that's how I know this works because that's what they told me to do. As for the rest of the information other than your address, you could leave everything else the same. I mean, you could maybe just switch up the num phone numbers or the emails and stuff, but that's up to you. If you have enough of them, then go ahead, but I'm pretty sure it won't even matter. The address is what really matters, which is dumb because what if two different people in the same house want to get that same shoe? So I don't understand how that works. I just know that this technique does work. And as for the cards that you use, go ahead and use your card, your credit card, your debit card, your gift card. Actually, I don't think gift cards work, but if it's all you got, then go ahead and use your mom's card, your dad's card, your uncle's card, your aunt's card, your grandma's card, your great grandma's card. Go ahead and hit them up, even people you haven't even hit up before. Your friends, whoever, just hit them up. You need those cards. The more cards you got, the better your chances. Because I know one time on Adidas, I tried to check out for the Belugas. I tried to check out with the same card twice. They didn't let me. There was like an error. But then I put in like my stepdad's card and it actually ended up working for me. So having a lot of cards does help out. I don't, I don't know if this works or not, but I like to do it a lot because it just, I just feel like it messes up their system is... Mix up different addresses with different credit cards and just have different variations. Like put your address with your credit card and then your address with your mom's credit card and then somebody else's address with your credit card or with, you know what I mean? Just get a lot of different variations and I feel like they'll just like be confused and they won't know if they should cancel the order or not. So I feel like they wouldn't cancel the order. So as of now, this will be the last video for the bot series. But if you guys do have any questions, then I guess I will make one more video and it will be a Q&A. So I will take out your guys' questions and put them in that video and I'll answer them from there so you guys can be clear with what you got. So make sure you drop all the comments you got down in this video because the next one will be the last one for sure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 10,000 by February 11th, which is Sneaker Con for Lauderdale. I will be out there. I will have a table. So if you're down in the area, make sure you go check it out. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker sign now. You're listening to Red. Peace.